Hello my friends, γεια σας φίλε μου, το Tagamon here. In this video I'm going to benchmark Home Fraud Revolution on a single GTX 1070. As always, this video is recorded on an external recorder at 60 frames per second. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. I'm using a Core i5-2500, which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz for this benchmark. You don't need uh, such high frequency, of course, to play the game. I only overclocked for benchmarking reasons. Uh, 16 GB of memory. And the graphics card is a single GTX 1070. Made by KFA2 EX model, latest forts were installed, and it is also overclocked in order to to reach 2 gigahertz of uh, core clock. I'm going to use fraps to gather frame rate data for this game. We will see the basic result in this file and some analysis uh, with flat at the end of the video. So let me launch the game. What the fuck did I say anyway? Achieved with CryEngine. What? Okay. Let's take a quick look at the options first. Uh, I'm using the very high system spec. High textures and uh, anti-aliasing at sub-pixel morphological anti-aliasing low. I, I'm not a big fan of uh, 2TX because it uh, tends to blur things a, a bit. The performance difference is uh, minimal, of course, so uh, I'm sticking with uh, the simple sub-pixel morphological anti-aliasing. Uh, no vertical sync, of course, since this is a benchmark. I did not change uh, what. I did not change anything, my friend. Don't pass my balls. Anyway, these are the settings and let's go to my benchmarking location to see how the game fares. Okay, the game has loaded. Uh, let me get out of here. I am starting a benchmark. Serious ground in Elm Tree. We plan a big part.
메시지. 중앙 메시지 컨트롤에 아이디 코드로 보고하라. 
Target down. Bye, my friend. And I'm Breathe, ending the man. benchmark here. Thanks for what you did. Christ, I hate losing people. Only silver lining is this lead on Walker. So, uh, a very decent average of uh, 100 frames per second, very good uh, performance from the system, frame rate is very good, the frame times also are quite decent but we do have uh, some spikes here and there, actually, uh, yes. We do have some spikes. We will see what uh, the analytics tool uh, will show us about that. The GPU usage was maxed out, however, nearly maxed out at 98%. We don't have a huge uh, CPU limit, of course, but we could be looking at some kind of uh, platform limit. Overall, uh, the game ran very decently, of course, and uh, as always from uh, a CryEngine 3 game, the CPU usage is uh, very high, the software can actually uh, work nicely with the hardware and uh, tap into the CPU resources, very good, CPU temps are fine, no problems with the system 5.6 gigabytes of uh, system ram used the power of the card around 80 something 82 83 percent something like that gpu temps are also good the core clock is indeed at 2 gigahertz we do have a small drop of 13 megahertz during the end Part, nothing serious. 2.9 gigabytes of uh, video RAM usage, quite high video RAM usage. And let's see what flat can show us. I need the home from 2 file, ok. So, 100 frames per second as an average, 80 frames per second as a comparable, still very good uh, performance.
in order to play this game at almost uh, maxed out settings variability at 1.3 milliseconds stuttering at 1.1 not too bad we do have this uh, huge spike at the end of the benchmark uh, I'm not sure why I caught that but anyway the frame times do not seem to be bad let me zoom in a little uh, we do have some spiky uh, frame times yes if you zoom in uh, the picture changes of course we do have jumps uh, at around the 10 milliseconds threshold and they go all the way up to 13 some up to 14 15 not uh, they are not very delayed uh, frame times but uh, it is the nature of the game uh, such that turning the camera all over uh, cannot produce very steady frame rate of course if you play with uh, vertical sync uh, the game is very smooth actually I have played so far with vertical sync and everything was uh, silky smooth frame times beyond 16.7 milliseconds are uh, almost zero so we can have an excellent performance an excellent gaming experience with this game we can also see here the histogram of, of the frame times all frame all frame times are below 15 milliseconds and uh, many of those are even at 10 milliseconds or lower so we are talking about great performance really uh, again the frame times chart uh, without the comparisons uh, the frame rate I should have uh, ended the benchmark just one second earlier before my friend died but that's okay uh, frame rate very good very high and it is absolutely very smooth uh, when you actually play normally I'm not sure why this occurred I must be from uh, the end part of the benchmark no worries minimum frame rate is uh, a worthless uh, metric it is a split second measurement and it, it has no value at all uh, variability and stuttering could be a little lower but they are okay for example this is the uh, metric that you actually need the percentile of the frame times uh, you can see what kind of percentages we are getting at what frame times and we are having very good uh, percentiles in this run of course very fast rendering so no problems in real gaming whatsoever the time spent curve also uh, very important very good no real problems and lastly the comparable frame rate which is uh, what you actually feel while, while you play overlaid with the variability and the stuttering overall a very decent gaming experience the game is not too bad if you uh, set the, pro the propaganda aside as a game uh, if you look at it uh, just as a game it seems uh, quite interesting to me but uh, I'm not uh, hearing very good words very good reviews about it anyway it is what it is thank you very much for watching my friends I will see you on my next video